Hello, hello. Jackson, I've got some work for you. Yes? Yes, sir. All right, I'll be there. How about a little drink while we're waiting? Yeah. Who is it? Oh, no, Mr. Blaine. Scram, scram. I'll take care of myself. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, I'll stall him for your getaway. Where's your partner? What partner? Quit stalling. You ain't got nothing on me. Only the warehouse job. I got an alibi. You better have. Come on. Come on, come on. Nice work, Jackson. What's it all about, Major? Well, I learned things. I had to ditch the gang. The only way that I could shake Martin. Drop me near the West End powerhouse and then call the police. The spider strikes again? Right. ordered this job done so there wouldn't be a light left on in the city. That's the way you'll get it. We'll have it all washed up before an alarm can be raised. Are we all set? Yeah. All right. We're moving through here. Episode, you will see Richard Wentworth in his fight against the octopus is attacked by the paid killers of the arch criminal. The octopus daring and cruel destroys property and innocent people in his desire for power. Nita Van Sloan, Jackson and Ram Singh, friends of Richard Wentworth, trapped in a room rapidly filling with rushing water and doomed to death. Will they escape? <laughs>
wilderness known as the octopus threatens the very foundation of civilization. The police have found it difficult to cope with. No one has any clue to the real identity of the octopus, not even his own men. These he rules with an iron hand like a tyrant on a throne, leading them on with promises of wealth when it suits his purpose and driving them through fear when they hesitated carrying out his cruel and ruthless plans. The objective of this mad leader is supreme power. To secure it, he has begun an organized attack on major industries aiming to gain control of the lifelines of the nation. To combat this reign of terror, Police Commissioner Cut has enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, wealthy clubman and famous criminologist. Into the fight, Wentworth brings the spider, a mysterious masked Robin Hood, who is held in awe and fear by the underworld. Only the immediate members of Wentworth's household know that he and the spider are one and the same person. Although always on the side of justice, the spider is forced to work outside the law in order to effectively war against crime. As a result, the spider is frequently charged with the very crimes he is attempting to prevent, and so becomes a hunted man by both the police and criminals. The mad ambition of the octopus to gain control of all industry is now reaching out to grasp the city's lighting system. Through connections in the underworld, Wentworth learned of this plan and disguised as the spider made a single-handed raid on the criminal forces trying to destroy the power plant. Jackson told me about you, Mr. Nita, and told me all about it. I told Miss Nita all I knew, Major, which isn't much. We don't know a great deal. If we could only determine the objective of the octopus, we could form an organized plan of attack. The one straight line that we have is that he does things in a big way. He wants more than mere money. First the entire transportation system, and now our power plan. Mm. Last night's attack may be the beginning of a new campaign of terrorism against the Bureau of Power and Light. That's it, utilities. You see, he's tackling each thing in turn. Organized crime with more than money as a goal. He wants control. That's why men like Adams and Roberts died. Jenkins, call that bishop of the county gas company and ask him if anything unusual is occurring. I told him to keep his eyes open. Graham, call Al Vance at the city water power company and ask him the same thing. Jackson, you call the... Take it, Graham. Hello? Just a moment, please. Sahib, it's Charlie Dennis. Hello, Charlie. What's up? Say, I finished building that radio set, and I want to thank you for all you taught me about radio. Gee, it's working swell. Have any success? No one's ever broadcast on the Hertzen band before. That's what I called about, Mr. Wentworth. Some mysterious stuff came over a couple of minutes ago, and I can't figure it out. Sounds like somebody testing, but it keeps up. And yeah, that sounds interesting. Try to keep them tuned in, Charlie. I'll be right out to your place. Goodbye. While I'm gone, check those people, and also the tri-state outfits. Come on, Nita. The car ready? Right, Major. Eyes open, Jackson. Anything come in? Every few minutes. B-13-6, M-12-3, R-9-4, Y-7-2. There he is now, but I can't make out what he's talking about. B-13-6, M-12-3, R-9-4, Y-7-2. Seven, two. He's off the air. Now listen, Charlie. If anything else comes in, write it down and call me. I'll be at my lab. Yes, sir. Here. Buy some candy for the kids. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Charlie, old man. See you later. We'll take Nita home.
Jackson, you were with the Communications Bureau at one time, weren't you? Right, Major. Whoever broadcast this message certainly didn't want the police to hear it. There isn't a police set in existence that operates on the Hertzen band. This is Whitey talking from house number three, sir. Some guy found our wavelength, sir. He's built a set to receive and send on the Hertzen band. It's important that he and the set be destroyed immediately. Do you know its location? Yes, sir. He's located in Stonewall on Lane Avenue. The Hertzen band must be kept clear. Hurry. There's no time to lose. We'll take care of it right away. Let up? Yeah. It only took three gallons, sir. That's a nice looking radio set you got in there, kid. Looks kind of homemade. Uh, build it yourself? Yeah, I built it. Gets kind of slow around here, and I got plenty of time to experiment with it. Gee, kids, that's too bad. Too bad? I don't understand. What's too bad? Now it's beginning to make sense. Look. Prepare all cars to move for raid, 8 o'clock. Further orders broadcast quarter to 8. What sort of a code was it, Dick? Rather simple once we found the key. Webster's Dictionary. The dictionary? Yes. The letter meant the section. The first numeral meant the page. The second numeral meant the position of the word on the page. And I suppose it all spells more trouble. I don't know. There's only one way of finding out. Whatever's going to happen tonight at 8 o'clock must be stopped. Dick, let me go with you. Nita, darling, you've got to stay here. Jackson, you stay here, too. Goodbye, dear. Out of your pockets and your mouth shut. We're going on a little trip. I found Nita's compact on the floor, and that's a sign of trouble. Yes. Now, wait there for me. A message has come, Sahib. Nita and Jackson are safe. The voice said, you will get another message tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? I could not trace the call of dogs, the fiends. Do you believe them, Sahib? About Nita and Jackson being safe? Yes. It's reasonable to believe that the octopus wants to get me. Therefore, he'll need them alive. You know, there may be some connection between that code message and the abduction. Ram, we've got to get out with the triangulation machines and locate that station. We'll set up our machines a half mile apart and then check the compass points. I have my machine right here. Now, you set up yours right about there. I understand, Sahib. Hmm, it's almost six o'clock. We haven't very much time to locate that mystery station, and we must do it before eight. At six o'clock tonight, every radio station in the city must be put off the air. The power tubes in each studio must be destroyed. The airlines kept clear, so that my message to the city at six o'clock will not be interrupted. And no slip-ups. Let this 
serve as a warning to your city. At 8 o'clock tonight, the entire city will be plunged into darkness. Every power plant will be destroyed. Last night, my plans at the powerhouse were frustrated. But this will not stop me. I am the octopus. Commissioner Kirk, you and your entire police force are helpless to combat me. It's unbelievable. The man must be crazy. We've got to locate him and stop him. Give me your figures. Send out all the emergency trucks available. Get the riot squads over to those stations. Stop the panics. I don't know what that broadcasting set is in a minute. Broadcasting stations at the point where those two lines meet. The triangulation system never fails. Come on, we've got a lot of work to do before 8 o'clock. Shouldn't have much farther to go, Ramsey. Not far, Sahib. The spider prepares to strike again? Yes. Decisive action is necessary. The law is handcuffed by too many rules and regulations. Therefore, the spider has to operate outside the law to save human lives. But Master is wise. Please still search for the spider. We have to take that chance. Hurry. We must proceed carefully, Ram Singh. This may be a trap. No, Ram Singh. Give me your knife. I thought, high voltage. What do we do, monster? Careful, Rand. The broadcasting room must be on the right side of the house. The aerials are hidden in the trees. See where the wires lead down. I'll go to the left side of the house and attract their attention. You try to get into the broadcasting room and smash the set, but keep under cover. Prophet saying, he who treads the path of evil shall meet with evil. I shall ruin the pig. Good luck. Ready to chirp? Never. You'll get nothing out of us. Pigs, you're wasting your time. All right. Last for it. Lock the door. Right? Right.
next episode, you will see Richard Wentworth and Chris Spider break into the octopus hideout, ruin the radio broadcasting set to prevent the octopus from sending his death dealing orders. The octopus tortures Nita Van Sloan, Ransing, and Jackson, friends of Richard Wentworth. At a benefit performance, hirelings of the octopus fire a point blank at Richard Wentworth on the stage. Will he escape? <laughs> trembles as the octopus, a mysterious menace, rises from the underworld in an attempt to control all industries. Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist, offered his services to Commissioner Kirk of the police department. Into the criminal battle waged by the octopus steps the spider, whose mark strikes terror into the heart of the, the underworld. Spider. Knowledge Wentworth traced the broadcasting station of the octopus to a house in an isolated country district. Disguised as the spider Wentworth and his faithful servant Ransing fight their way into the house. Ransing is overcome and thrown into a room, rapidly filling with rushing water. The spider is trapped in a room filled with poisonous gas vapor, and torrents of live steam are blasted on him.
Don't talk, Sahib. The place is wired. We don't have to worry about that now. I destroyed the radio set completely. The octopus won't broadcast his orders. Look out the door. Come quickly, Sahib. Take care of me. All right, Jackson, the coast is clear. You all right, darling? Quite all right. All right, Major. Yeah, that was a close one, boys. Nita, from now on, you're going to stay home. Not as long as you're in danger, Dick. Sweetheart. He's been killed, sir. It was the spider. He smashed our broadcasting set and broke out the girl and the two guys from the water room. Failure, failure. That's all your report. How long do you expect me to forgive mistakes? The spider must not be allowed to interfere. He must never affect my plans in the future. No stone must be left unturned until his identity is disclosed and he's brought out to the open at Christ. I will not tolerate opposition. Not from the spider or anyone else. What about our plans for tonight? For the moment, we must abandon them. First, we must get the spider. Now clear out, all of you. Word has gone out all over town to get the spider. I found that out as Blinky McQuaid. The spider must be a thorn in somebody's side. If he is, that's just fine. Richard Wentworth will get a chance to do a little investigating while the spider takes a vacation. I don't understand what you mean, Major. Well, it's certain that the octopus is trying to draw the spider out into the open. Is that right? Sure. All right. If that's what he's trying to do, we'll give him a dose of his own medicine. We'll try drawing him out into the open. Dick, you're talking in circles. Am I? Is there any sort of public event going on in the next few days that's out of the ordinary routine? Well, they're opening a new bridge tomorrow. No, no, not that, not that. Wait a minute. I've got it. The benefit for the bus driver's family. But that's right. They're holding some sort of a show right in the bus terminal. Get my trunks out of the attic. I'm going to do my old magic act. Your old magic act? Right. Hello? Hello, Morris. This is Wentworth speaking. Oh, hello, Wentworth. How are you? Now, your paper is friendly to the Roberts Bus Company, isn't it? Yeah, we're practically running the show for them. That's swell. I'd like to give them a little help myself. You know, I used to do an amateur magic act, and I thought perhaps I could get out my old props and come down and do my bit on the show. You certainly can, Mr. Wentworth. Your name as a famous criminologist would be a big drawing card. Thanks a million. 